Hello children, how are you all? I am Anisha Jain and today we will learn about tenses. Tenses is generally, it is denoted by verb and it tells us about the time of action. Tense tells us about the time of action. Ki wo action kab hua tha? And in this way we can divide the tenses into three parts. Present tense, past tense and future tense. Past means जो हो गया, present means जो अभी हो रहा है, और future means जो अभी होगा. Now again, these tenses has been further divided into four more parts. That is simple or indefinite tense, continuous or progressive tense, perfect tense and perfect continuous tenses. Now let us see some examples of it. Like in simple past tense, we say it rained yesterday. In simple present tense, it said it rained a lot in March. In future, we say the sun will rise at 6 a.m. So, you can see the changes in the verbs only when we are changing the tenses. Now, in progressive, we are saying I was watching TV when the phone rang. I am watching TV and I will be studying. So, these are the three progressive tenses. For perfect tense, we say the class has already begun when I arrived. Perfect, we say she had been to Alaska two times. And in future perfect, we say I will have graduated by this time next year. In perfect progressive tense, we said I had been waiting for an hour when he finally arrived. In present perfect, we say it has been raining all week and for future perfect progressive we say she will have been waiting for an hour by the time he arrives so here we see basically we change the verb to see the in which tense we are writing it according to the tense we are writing it only the verb changes so we have to learn the or we have to go through the chart of verb forms that is present form of verb past form of verb and the future form of verb we have to go through that form of verb that you can find in your book itself now for example like run becomes ran in the past and for future we will write will run okay and there is a table that you have to memorize for making it simple when you are translating a sentence or when we are seeing the sentence how will we identify which tense it is for making it simple present we write verb with an is or are when we are writing for single person we write verb with as that is a plural form of the verb and for making when the when we are talking about more than one people we write simple single form of the verb along with and is or are for making it simple past we write the second form of the verb and for making for future we will write will plus the verb for making it continuous present we write is am or are with the verb plus ing and for making it past we write was or where plus the verb ing and for making it future we will write will be plus verb plus ing for making it perfect present we write has or have plus the third form of the verb and for the past we write past perfect we write had plus the third form of the word and for making future we write will have plus the third form of the verb for making it perfect continuous present we write have or has been plus verb plus ing for making it past perfect continuous we write had been plus verb plus ing and for making it future perfect we write will have been plus verb plus ing so for writing this form of verb we must know the three form of the verb here is some examples of the form of the verbs that you can go through and similarly you will find more than more the book so here you can see like beat is the first form of the verb Again, second form is the beat and then third form we write beaten. Become, become, became and for third form it become, become. So, when we are writing perfect or perfect continuous, we only use the third form. Otherwise, we generally use the first form of the verb. Okay. So, go through it. 
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स